Hello and welcome to our lesson on adding and subtracting with integers. So we're going to use the column method to solve each of these problems and to help with the column method we're going to use the place value table. So we have 45 plus 12 which is 4 tenths add 5 units add 1 ten and 2 units. To work out the total we're going to begin in the lowest value column which is the units and then we're going to move to the left as the columns increase in value. So we have 5 units add 2 units which is 7 units, 4 tens add 1 ten which is 5 tens. So 45 add 12 is 57. For question B we have 6 hundreds, 3 tens and 4 units add 8 tens and 3 units. So again we're going to begin in the units we have 4 add 3 which is 7 units. We have 3 tens and 8 tens which in total is 11 tens. When you think about 11 tens we actually have 110 which is 100 and 1 ten. And then we have 6 hundreds plus the one we carried over which is 7 hundreds in total. So 717. Moving on to subtraction with question C. 864 minus no hundreds, 9 times, 0 units. 4 units take away 0 is still 4 units. Now we have 6 times take away 9 times which we can't do. So we're going to borrow 100 from the next column so this becomes 7 and now we have 16 take away 9 is 7 and 700 take away 0 is 7 so we have 774 and finally for question D 134 take away 126 we need to borrow a 10 from the next column because 6 is bigger than 4. So now we have 14 take away 6 which is 8, 2 take away 2 which is 0 and 1 take away 1 which is also 0. So 134 take away 126 is 8. Okay let's try one more problem. So here we have a number pyramid and the number pyramid works by the two numbers below the cell adding up to make the number above the cell. So this cell here would be the sum of this cell and this cell. 139 would be the sum of this number and this number. Do you want to try and work out the missing numbers by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay so to begin with we're going to work out this number here. So a number plus 139 add together to make 786. So this number here will be 786 minus 139. I'm still using the column method. So now we can't do 6 take away 9 because 9 is bigger than 6. So we're going to borrow 1 from the next column. This becomes 7 and this becomes 1. 16 take away 9 is 7. 7 take away 3 is 4 and 7 take away 1 is 6. So this number is 647. To work out this number I'm going to do 139 minus 86. 9 take away 6 is 3. 8 is too big so I need to take away 1 from my hundreds column. 15 take away 8 is 5. So this is 53. And finally, this number here would be 647 minus the 86. 7 take away 6 is 1. The 8 is bigger than 4, so I borrow 1 from the next column. 14 take away 8 is 6. And that is 5. So 561. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful.